Okay, folks, yesterday we already knew that um, UBS was kind of, you know, triggering, issuing margin calls. Meaning, well, if you were holding as collateral or if you were presenting collateral, you know, holding Russian bonds, now they are pretty much evaluating and, you know, assessing these as nil. Meaning, it's, 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 it's worth zero. It's worth nothing. So if it's worth nothing, how can you expect this to continue to actually help you sustain your positions? if you don't add cash or securities? Big question. Now, the thing is, we have in addition to UBS, now we have Credit Suisse and we have Pictet. You know, these are Swiss companies, Swiss banks, Swiss asset managers that are now joining Credit Suisse in cutting also the amount of leverage, you know, because of this leverage, I mean, uh, collateral into Russian bonds literally being worth nothing. It gets even more interesting because when you actually think about what this could mean for the short sellers in AMC stock, it is huge. The Swiss bank has assigned a zero lending value for some Russian bonds, effectively meaning that Credit Suisse no longer accepts the debt as a collateral, according to people familiar with the matter. Securities of sanctioned banks, Sberbank and VTB Bank are among those that have been cut to zero, the people said. Well, the stock market, uh, 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 the stock exchange of Russia you know, MOX, MOEX dropped 33%. At some point, it was down 50% uh, 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 um, at the opening on Thursday, just because Russia invaded Ukraine. So what does it mean for the broader, you know, industry? It means other banks will likely follow. Other big banks working with, you know, either Russian uh, uh, investors that are using Russian bonds as collaterals. The exact same thing we saw, you know, or we are seeing with people that were using big banks, that, or, I mean, investors that were using bonds of Evergrande and Chinese developers as collateral. Now that it's worth pretty much nothing, you only have two choices. Either you add some more cash or you add something else in collateral, you know, or you just, you just, you just take the loss right? You, you get out, especially if you're a short seller. So with what we already know so far, with Credit Suisse actually turning heads into Morgan Stanley, I mean, to turning to offer its help to the SEC, uh, uh, working against Morgan Stanley and Goldman Sachs, their rivals in the block trading business, and what the DOJ and the SEC is causing or is about to cause as big wave with the bunch of reign of regulations, transparency, dark pools, you know, uh, 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 pretty much cleaning up the entire market from the major risk so far. So if you think about it, if other banks, either companies, other, you know, big banks working as liquidity providers for the investors in the market, if I'm a short seller, well, um, this doesn't look good for me. Remember, in AMC, not all the short sellers have the exact same size. Some are bigger. And for them, they can actually maneuver and navigate through these things. All right. But for others, um, this is too much pressure. It's going to be so much pressure at some point that all of these regulations, all of the market conditions, because when the market drops, they are also losing a ton of money. So it means they have to add more cash. But the thing is, cash is actually going to be rare or it's beginning to be rare. We actually have a liquidity crisis already impacting the way markets are operating. And it might get worse when the Federal Reserve does what it's supposed to do to fight inflation. I'm talking about in increasing interest rates. So the bottom line is, if I'm a short seller here, with everything else that other banks are doing with Russia, you know, happening in the geopolitical forces and everything, well, chances are, as I mentioned, the pressure is going to be so high because there are too many things happening at the very same time that they have no choice but to cover, maybe cover partial of the positions, maybe cover the entire positions. And that is what we want to see happening because it will cause the domino effect. If one you know, goes down, then it's going to share, cause the share price to actually shoot. By shooting, it's putting additional pressure into the, the next short seller and then the next one and the next one. And by doing so, that's when you start going to the moon when at some point it's going to be, oh, 
it's going to be unbearable for them. And that's when we get to the moon. It may not happen necessarily tomorrow because nobody has guaranteed over what will happen in the future, but it's coming. The signs are there. 